Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you what bread looks like without any crusts on. Now you probably think you've completely lost it, but th but this even surprised me. Now this video is going to surprise you and even me, okay? Not for the reasons you're going to think, okay? Now firstly I'm going to show you a slice of bread, nothing clever here, it's got the crust on. And I'm going to take the crust off. Again, nothing special. I just have here a plate, a knife, and again, there's nothing clever about this whatsoever. And I do this virtually every day for my mum after we've cooked toast. Okay, so I take a crust off. If my mum doesn't like the crust on after I've cooked toast for her. Okay. I don't know if cooked is the right word here, but I put toast, put bread in the toaster and she has toast most days, okay? Unless she oversleeps or something, okay? Right, okay. And now we have a slice of bread we have no crust on and here are the excess crusts now you might think well why would I show you that I mean to show you what I do every day for my mum what's the point no now that's not the purpose of this video so far nothing I've shown you surprises you and as I said I only do that for, for toast every day now this is what surprised me that is not a lot of effort I've shown you how quickly I could take off all four um, sides of crusts from the bread. So I took the crust off the bread, okay? All four sides of it. Now, I was surprised that some people are really, really lazy and they think that's far too much effort. And I was astonished to see this, but I was so shocked I even bought it just to show you guys. I came across this today in Tesco. Now, King's Mill is one of the brands we have here. It's not a supermarket brand. And you notice it says, no crusts. Yes. Bread without any crusts on. No, I am not making this up. I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked I had to actually buy it. Now, as you can probably expect from me, it was about to be expired today. So here, let's go with goose sticker. Normally it would have cost £1.80. And it cost 45p because um, essentially it's up to date. I will put this in the freezer later. Okay. And on it it says we're not fans of food waste. Every crust we cut off goes on to make animal feed. So there you can see it there. So they basically feed um, the crust that they're chopped off to the animals. What animals? I've no idea. It also says it's got 30% recycled plastic. So this is this wrapper. And it says 50-50. I think that means 50% normal bread, 50% wholemeal bread. Um, it's a new thing rammed here. Um, it's got a whole load of ingredients and... It says store in a cool dry place, ideally not refrigerated. Under warm conditions, life may be reduced. It's suitable for home freezing. They say it keeps for three months in the freezer. Anyway, I was so shocked at this, I thought, right, okay, so now I'm going to open it. Now, at the moment, it's dated the 10th of November. That's today. So this basically expires today. It does say 10th of November, honestly, but it probably isn't very easy to see. Tenth of November. But don't put the year on because I assume nobody's going to have it more than a year. Okay, so right. Now, I'm now going to open this up 
and show you what one of their loaves, one of their slices of bread looks like that has had the breast, the, sorry, the, the, um, the crust, not the breast, what am I talking about? I just remember that earlier I had, I uh, got some, um, chicken stuff, so I'm not talking about that. Not crust, not crust, what am I talking about? Idiot. Right. So no crusts. And now I'm going to get the crust out. Here you go, a professionally cut slice of bread that's been professionally had the crust removed, professionally, okay? And this, by comparison, is the slice of bread I used to cut the crust off myself. So this is where I cut the crust off, and this is where presumably a machine cut the crusts off professionally so there you go guys um, and let's see how many this is a 400 gram one and considering this is quite expensive I mean considering this is only 400 grams and this would cost one pound 80 I know for about one pound 80 you can easily get an 800 gram um, packet by the same for less than this by the same brand. I know that if you're not worried about being 50 50, I know for example, if you want to buy just simple King's Mill bread but white, I don't know about if it costs more for whole milk, but if you just buy normal white whole milk King's Mill bread, it costs about £1.30, £1.40. This costs £1.80. You're actually paying more for less. You're pa it looks like you're paying more just because they chop the, the um, crust off for you. I mean, talk about being lazy. I mean, maybe somebody's disabled. I mean, to be fair, maybe you've got a disabled person who struggles with a knife. I have no idea. But, but there you go, guys. Professionally made bread with the crust professionally removed compared to normal bread with the crust removed by me i've no idea what the taste difference is but i'll worry about it another time so there you go king's mill 50 50 no crusts mm. yes you just couldn't make it off. I just had to show you guys because I've never seen anything like it. And I know some people are lazy, but to me that's just being ridiculous. But anyway, I mean, I can understand if they made this specially for, you know, I don't know, um, caterers where they didn't want to spend all their time cutting the, the crust off. If they had to make something where they, the crust were chopped off, or for example, someone's making bread and bread and pudding and making lots of them and they didn't want the crust on and they wanted, you know, it helped to have another company professionally chop them off for them to save them the time. I get it. But for ordinary people, why? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.